Hey, 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 it's another day at Dale Chanel's Sporty Squirrel. We're going to be talking about something the Celebrity Insider put out on Candy Burris. Yes, they did a story on her, and I read it, and I was like, Lord, have mercy. Candy, 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 don't introduce yourself to a world that I don't know if you're ready for. Remember, you had that whole big spill of Sager and Portia lying on you about the sex dungeon and how they almost wrecked your career. Everything was just in some limbo. And you were thinking about suing Portia and Phaedra because you didn't know how things were going to turn out since she had put out on you and Todd that y'all were trying to drug her and get her to come down to this sex dungeon y'all had put together and just have y'all away with Portia, you know. And I'm like, at the time, I don't think it would have been too much where you had to do any of that drug and anything, just give her a few drinks and she would go on her own. But, of course, you know, she had to listen uh, to Phaedra putting stuff in her ear, if that's actually how it went. I don't know. All of this was allegedly. But, in a way, kind of made me really think that Portia was really kind of sort of telling the truth. Because after everything had subsided, the water had, you know, blew over, the storm had passed and all like that, you're going to come out with a sex dungeon parade where you're gonna advertise um i guess going out building a pop-up shop and putting what you said was lies 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 that portia had told on you due to the fact that phaedra had injected that knowledge into her mind or that false information and you and about the sex dungeon then you're gonna go and do a 360 and put out a sex dungeon type act where people can come in and it looked like a prostitution ring, really like sex for hire, that kind of thing. I'm like, woo, you already got the bedroom can, you got can and coated nice, then you got the sex dungeon. Yes, you are a naughty girl. Naughty, naughty girl. I'm like, whoo, is there any light in you at all? Because what kind of legacy are you building? Are you trying to become a madam now? You know, a, a, what do you call it, a legal prostitution ring where you can ent entice men. It's kind of like a stripper club, but they actually do give them tips by making it rain. Um, and it's legal, of course, because um, it's no it's sex insinuated, but it's no sex supposed to be going on. But we'll keep that on a hush hush because we know anybody that take a blind eye or look to the left, uh, stuff can be done unruly. Stuff that you know ain't got no business going on, like prostitution up in them clubs, okay, them strip clubs. But that's another story and another video. But I was definitely thinking about your family. Now, you got positive Riley, you got positive Kayla going on. Then you got the little uh, baby boy Ace growing up and all of this naughtiness that you're trying to build your empire for them. I'm kind of concerned. And it's like I say, I shouldn't be concerned about you because it ain't my business. I know, but I'm just sitting on the sideline and you seem such like a nice person. But I'm like, are we building our bridge? Are we building our fortune on sex lies and in no window? In your windows? Okay, are we just building it out on a false profit? Okay, that's going to definitely come tumbling down. And it seemed like you don't went to the dog side. It's red, black, and white. You know, this is satanic and it's just devilish. And the whole game is prostitution is what I'm looking at, Candy. This is what I'm looking at. And I'm like, when Baby Ace grows up to be a teenager, is this the type of archive of a legacy you want to leave for him? His mama going around with skimpy lingerie and doing God knows what kind of sexual acts. Now, I'm not talking about you partaking in it, but just showing it. Hold on. Hush. You know, uh, got Lodge in the background just barking. I don't know what he's barking at. But anyway, getting back here, you can't. I'm kind of I'm kind of like dumbfounded. I'm kind of like, okay, what kind of legacy are you leaving for your babies? You're talking about Riley. You're talking about Ace. And you're talking about Kayla. I mean, is it just a sex pay going on? That's what you you selling sex and sex and sex and sex. Do you think Ace gonna have to fight? He gonna have to fight 
these uh, youngins his age because they're going to be looking at his mama. He don't want his friends and all the men looking at his mama and seeing how she make her money. You know, that it's kind of disgusting. Yet it is kind of profitable but disgusting. Then you got Rod over here, very intelligent young lady, can do things with her life. But then don't you think all this stuff is going to come back to hunt her? And, and, and put a negative light, like, what did your mama do, sell sex? You know, it's enough that you get the flip side of black men, if they're well off or, or doing real well, they think they're selling drugs. Drugs, prostitution, it's just the whole thing of black humanity, and then you're just serving it up on a platter, on a platter. Now, I'm like, I don't know, Todd Pippa, you out or you Pippa Todd, I, I don't know. But the whole idea is sex. You're selling sex. And I'm like, I'm very disappointed, very disappointed. I mean, it was enough with the bare bedroom lingerie line and then your candy coated nights where you're talking about sex and all different ways of getting sex and doing sex acts, you know. Oh, I mean, that was enough. Now you don't went down there where you're showing it. Forget about videotaping it, you know, half porn, half, you know, ass show. But it's like, come on, Candy, I was there for you. You already got a, a booming career with the Real Housewives of Lambs franchise, you know, and you already got tags, you know, doing your um, what do you call that? Clothing line or whatever. can we do a little thing where it's light and it's palatable for the taste buds? I mean, do we have to have sex, sex, sex? You know what I'm saying? And your kids gonna have to defend you one day. Like, my mama did all that. She built a, a fortune, a brand, but that's not what I'm going out for, you know. It's just gonna be hard. On the children is what I'm saying, or the legacy you're leaving them of sex, sex, and then more sex, okay? But I'm just going to get on to what the celebrity insider put down on you, okay? They did that little story. Yes, it reads, we have an author of this. We have Alexis Stone came out March 2nd, 2019. Stop all that hollering. Okay, the headline reads, Candy Burris shares fire photos with Todd Tucker and her dancers from last night's show. Fans suggest her to keep Todd out of risky situations because the loyalty is hard to find. And see, that's what I'm talking about. You keep dipping and dabbing and having your uh, husband dip and dab into that same pool you're swimming in. You can rest assured when you ain't around, he going to still be swimming in that pool minus you and plus two. You know what I'm saying? Without you. That's all I'm coming at you with, Candy. But going back to this piece that Alexis Stone was writing on you about what you're doing. Okay, let's go back. Candy Burris has been preparing for a last night's show for quite a while. Her beloved husband, Todd Tucker, has also been a part of the rehearsal sessions and Candy shared a bunch of pics and videos to document everything for her fans. Okay, now a few hours ago, Candy finally shared some pics from the much-awaited show and some fans were surprised to see Todd on stage as well. He did attend the rehearsal, so this was expected. She writes, Charlotte was lit on fire. Thanks for the love. I'm stopping by the tip-off mega party later. New venue. Alert for the party. Now it will be at Peculiar Rabbit, 1212 Pecan Avenue, Charlotte, North Carolina. Styled by the real somebody. Not even really important. Candy captioned a photo in which she was showing off her fantastic look. And I'm going to tell you, she was like a little Jezebel running around now. How do you call that person? Um, what do you call that in the Bible? Oh, I forget the little the Jezebel or the whore Babylon. That's kind of what she's giving me. I'm just saying, slow your roll, Candy, because you, you can't be a Christian and you can't be a devil at the same time. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have to choose. Stop straddling and riding that fence because you really have went to the dark side, in my opinion. Okay, and I need you to come back. I need you to repent, honey. I really do need you to do that because I'm, I'm looking out for the kids if you're not. Just an innocent bystander standing on the sidelines just looking at you and the 
ways you're portraying yourself and how you're getting your money. Okay, we can do better. Once we know better, we do better, Candy. That's all I'm saying. That wasn't in the little article. I was just giving you my speed. But getting back to article, it says she shared a bunch of other pics from the show and she captioned her post with tonight's show was fun. I got to send love to my whole team that rock with me tonight. Someone told Candy as a joke, more or less. Putting your man in a risky situation is not safe anymore. There's no loyalty anymore. Keep your happiness caged away from frayed eyes. Okay? That's what I'm saying. People don't know you, but they're trying to give you a little bit of advice, Ken, and some solid advice. Not that we are all out there trying to pull you down or talk and throw salt on your name. We're just, just saying him too much talent, too much intelligence to be wasted. I mean, if you want to do this, put somebody else on it. Be in the background. Let them know who producing, you know, what you're putting out. But that's about it. Don't go get into the fun unless it's between you and your husband and it's behind closed doors. You see what I'm saying? Behind closed doors. All right, but that was my spiel again. Let me get back to the content creator. All right, who wrote this piece, this article I'm talking about. The person was probably hinting at the latest massive drama between the triangle Tristan Thompson, um, Chloe Kardashian, and Jordan Woods. Yes, we do know that triangle, and that's a hot mess. Can you say Bermuda? Tragic triangle. All right. But we ain't talking about that. We're talking about Todd and Candy. Candy and Todd and his sex dungeon. All right. Um, it says another follower posted. Loving the gram. Keep it up. I was busy. Uh, wait a minute. I was busy. It's fun showing love to one half of the crew. Someone else praised Candy and called her a role model for her fans. You are such a beautiful, positive role model for all of us. Continue blessings to you and your family. All righty. All right. Candy has been spending more time with her family these days, which made her fans very happy. So see, Candy, everybody's just wishing you well on your happiness, your family. You know, not just fame and fortune. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you were writing um, pieces of uh, music or uh, lyrics to a, a song for people and selling it and doing all that thing. That's good publicity. That's good money making. And if you want to do this thing with this sex dungeon, sex or paid thing, put, put somebody else on. You know, you just be the money maker, the headline, the master plan behind this masterpiece of a business adventure you're going through or, or within. Uh, but you don't need to be showing your body and all that type of format for your kids to try to explain it and take up for you when somebody going to come sideways at them and try to disrespect you. That's all I'm saying, Candy. Got much love for you. Want to see you come back to the light. Want to see you come back to the light, my sister. Because right now, you way on over there. Way on over there. Deep swimming and about to drown into a bunch of abyss. A bunch of demonic abyss going on it might be making it rain over there but when your soul will have to get saved one day that's all i'm saying when are you gonna come what are you gonna decide money or your soul i'm just saying you can't serve two you can't serve two you're gonna hate one and love the other one and i don't want you to miss out i don't want to miss want you to miss out on any resurrection any everlasting life if you know what I mean, okay? Mama Joyce taught you better. I know she did. Because I don't see no news going out in Mama jo Joyce negatively. But I'm pretty sure she worked two or three jobs trying to get you into the spotlight, the entertainment business. But I don't think she wants you to be displaying all these raunchy pictures that's depicting another whole person toward a personality and another whole person that we're not used to seeing. I mean, I don't see Tiny up there. And Lord knows T.I. got her on lockdown, but still, she ain't going out here looking like this and promoting this from city to city to city, okay? Then you got Toya Wright, uh, you got, uh, what's her name? Rashida Frost, uh, Monica, they ain't doing all this, girl, to make that coin, that money. I know you want to make it. I want. You, I know you want to be a self-made. I ain't going to say the B-I-T-C-H work on like people. Just call me a female dog if you got to, but don't call me no that itch, okay? Because that's what we're talking about. 
And I'm not a guard until as well. You know what I'm saying? When we know better, we do better. We start using all these words because they're not gratifying. They're not gratifying at all. So I'm just saying, much love to you and your family. Continue blessings. Continue to get your coin. But can we get you out of that life? Let the other people you want to promote do it. Make that money. It's like, you you know, say if you want to be a porn star, you did porn, you know, for a living. But, you know, sometimes you just get tired of getting busted out. You know what I'm saying? It gets old. So you don't capture that game and that revenue and you're putting somebody else on but you're not in the spotlight no more i don't know it just seems like you want to be in the spotlight of everything that's not agreeable to what the lord may want for you one day but i'm just saying keeping it real um uh, giving you my opinion because that's all i have i do and have and say i can do anything in any possible way on my channel but like i say uh, just just looking at just looking at some things, just looking at some things, and it ain't all seem, you know, quite cultural or kosher, I should say. Just looking out for the kids, you know, because if I was in your situation, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna I would sell my bedroom candy like it ain't nothing. And if somebody wanted to see these sex acts or whatever, how you giving it to them, making them uh, foam at the mouth to want to go by they uh why some um some sexy lingerie because you've seen all my models be in their little outfits and, and, and I don't know touring around whatever sex dungeon you got but it's like look honey but don't touch and I'm not coming over there to be uh seducing you and all that just put your mind to it okay but you know I'm like sell that, that that's cool it's it's out on Victoria's Secret selling and all these other rancher places selling it too I know it, it's good everybody like it but I'm like, I just don't like the other part. I think you can do better. Do better. Okay? And that's all I got to say. Peace out.